Shalom. Giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Church of Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere hope for alike. The brothers out there it's prophesying in the true name and the true doctrine about the times we're in the head of truth for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? So, you know, I was just meditating while I was on my way to the office. You know, I was meditating on uh, basically, man, just how we in the flesh and... You know, it's a constant battle with the spirit and the flesh. So in the scriptures, when, when Paul was speaking to the church of Ephesus, of, you know, he was telling them that what? We battle not against flesh and blood, right? So, therefore, uh, everyone else that is fighting, you know, you know, the people in the world, right? The people that don't have... The, 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 the true name and the true doctrine and living in in the darkness of this place, the valley of the shadow of death. Because sin is what brings death, right? So they battling constantly with the flesh. They war after the flesh. You know, people are emotion, more emotional. You know, and, and that happens, but they indulge in carnality, right? More than the spirit. Why? Because they are not aware that everything that's happening is of the spirit. And that's what? The spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. And um, we know that uh, that um, we know about the spirit. We are aware of the spirit of prophecy. Knowing why all these calamities is happening because what the Lord the, uh, Yahweh Shai you know um, warned us about all these events that was going to take place before his second return and we understand that even when you're reading about Paul right when Paul was you know when the scriptures say uh, um when um, uh, the demons knew Yahweh Shah, the demons knew Paul during the time of the book of Acts, right? When uh, when one of the, uh, um, I forget who it was that tried to perform an exorcism, but then the demon in that person said, Paul I know, Yahweh Shah I know, but who are ye? So, right? So when people act out, you know, um, it's the spirit within them, it's the demons in them. You see, because these people are nothing but vessels. Just like now, what, the blood moon just passed. You had an eclipse, right? Then you had a fireball. So what? The scriptures speak about signs and wonders. And those are signs, man. Those are omens. You know what I mean? Just like when you're preaching, when you're prophesying, people, things start happening around you. If, if it's a them that has eyes to see and you know, can uh, discern, you know, and this is why, you know, brothers must have more discernment in these latter times we're in, because we're at the end, man, we're at the end, we don't got much long in this place, well, another year or two, luckily, I mean, not luckily, but for them, but for us, we want it to happen right away, you know what I'm saying, but we don't have much time, we got a couple seconds, but things are going to uh, uh, intensify, you know, and, and, and that's the point, things are intensifying, so, you know, hey man, we got to put on that armor, the armor, the shield of faith to withstand the fiery darts of Satan, man, you know, because they're going to throw darts at his elect, you know, to try you, and ultimately, it's the most high, he, he you know, in the scripture say the deceiver and the deceiver are his, He's controlling both sides of the party, you know? Just like how you have this whole election thing going on, you know, where it's uh, um, two sides, you know, but really it's two feathers of the, uh, two wings of the same bird, you know? We know who's controlling the, um, we know who's controlling, you know, in the, in the, in the background, right? Um, um, these elites. The banking families, those that's trying to, 
create a digital currency, a, a, a one world alliance, which is not going to be established, you know, but what the scriptures tell you in, um, in um, Isaiah 47, uh, around about the 14th verse, how they are weary in, 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 in their consolation, roughly paraphrasing. Why? Why? Because they're being exposed. You know, they're being exposed for 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 their agendas. You know, for their for for their lies, their propaganda, their witchcraft, their sorcery. You know, their astrologers. That's why the Lord said, "Let them save you in those times," because these people trust in all this. You know, they uh, even our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which are the biblical Israelites, they put their trust. And the shadow of Egypt. Egypt, the word Egypt is synonymous for bondage, which we're still in, right? Just look at your, your fiat currency. I mean, it got a pyramid behind it. Well, what do you think that symbolizes? Right? So those same spirits are here today that even try to fight or combat spiritual, when spirits, uh, 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 you know, when uh, Paul, when Paul, was going at it, you know, when he, when, uh, the, I believe, it, forget who it was, I believe it was uh, Pharaoh, when they, when they, they were showing their power on the left hand side, but see, the Lord had, um, uh, Moses, Shalaki, it was Moses, Moses, the Lord had him show the power of the Heavenly Father on the right hand side, you know what I'm saying, and that's our power, you know, by declaring this word, is what bringing down strongholds, which is uh, the word for strongholds, is another word for what refuge. They're, they're not refuge, but their their house, their castle, you know, their establishment, their 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 philosophies is bringing all of that down, is exposing it. You see, just like when we declare the word, when Joshua was declaring the words, they blew the trumpets, praising the Lord, and they surrounded it seven times, which is completion. It brought down the walls of Jericho. You know, this place is collapsing. This wall, every, all of this is collapsing from the inside out, just like Rome. You know, and this is why the Lord brought out men to prophesy in a lot of days. Because he put his spirit inside those vessels to declare his spirit amongst the world. To bring this place down. And also what? You have uh, uh, spirits that are created for vengeance. As it tells you in the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, spirits created for vengeance. So, you know, this is why we're seeing more and more, you know, animals leaving their habitats, animals dying. But you also have different creatures, you know, fucking people up, <laughs> you know. But anyway, I just wanted to bring this out um, because, you know, the Lord is going to put his men through physical, uh, uh, more physical situations, so that way your spirit could get closer to him, you see, just like I did to Daniel, you know, this is why a lot of prophets even fasted, and, 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 and you know, it's good, to, it's good to fast, you know, if you uh, discipline yourself, you know, to fast uh, often, you know, it has benefits, and it you know, spiritually, you, you, you get closer to the Lord. So when we're we we going through that, the fire, what is it, the fire uh, 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 of adversity, you know, it's to bring you closer to Him, you see? So that way your spirit can call upon Him. He'll put you through some shit to force you to call upon Him. Rather than these people being for, uh, uh, put through their trials and tribulations, they're forced to call upon who? Their enemy. This is why Isaiah said, what well, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Why? Because they see how many they are. Their they're, they're might in the flesh, and that's, that's carnal. They see how much horses, their tanks, the military, the this, the that, the money. And this is why when that digital currency comes out, they're going to look at it as a way of a new normal. It's convenient for them. Why? Because they're in the flesh. They don't know anything about the spirit, the, the heavens, the, the, the angels, the spiritual realm. They only know this 3D dimension. Right? So, we understand. This is why even in 2 uh, Kings, when the Lord opened the eyes of Elisha to see the angels around him. He, uh, 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 the scripture said, I believe in 2 Kings, or 1 Kings uh, 6 and 16, where it says, there's more with us than them. 
And what? It, it tells you, um, it, the scriptures also say what? The angels that camp around them that fear the Lord, which is why those lions that were starving in the lions then didn't eat uh, 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 Daniel. And Daniel still, you know, was bold enough, you know, and he trusted in the Lord, man. He trusted in the name of Abanawa Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rukhakwadash. And what? Scriptures say the angels shut the mouths of the lions. And these are just like, a, <laughs> these are, there's, there's so much more that, 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 that happened in the scriptures. But I, I just wanted to bring this out. You know, I was meditating on it as I was walking, you know, because, hey, man, the flesh, yo, these, the, it, it, it's, it's, Satan understands. But guess what? We understand how about Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem because he's controlling them. Which is why Job, which is why Job held his, held his integrity, as it says. And at the latter end, he was blessed with double. And we know the scriptures say better is the end of a thing than the beginning they were. Because everything's a test. Everything in this life is, is nothing but a test. That's all it is. It's a test. Like the elder brother Amawan Gabar me mentioned in, uh, uh, in uh, uh, the main camp. It's all a test. You know? And, and the higher you elevate spiritually, maturity, with you know, however the Lord sees fit, it's, it's going to be more severe tests. This is why it tells you, uh, uh, strive for the truth up to death, and the Lord shall fight for it. So anyway, with that, I hope this was exhorting through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.